Hey, what's up? Two Base here. In today's video, we're gonna take a look back at the old TV series Shaolin Showdown, and we're gonna see if we can find out what's happening to it. So let's get this video started. Road intro. you to a Shaolin showdown. Name your game, Jack. That Robin, first one to catch and win. Okay, Jack, I accept your challenge. Oh. Sucker, let's, let's go. go. Shaolin showdown. Shaolin showdown first premiered on Kids WB in 2003. The show was created by Quirsty Hui and produced by Warner Brothers Animation. Around this time, anime popularity was on the rise in the US, but despite this, Chris preferred to create a show that was the fusion between Eastern and Western cultures, which would explain Omi's bad slang gag in the series. Yes! In your head, Ramundo! In your face! Talk to my fingers! The series is about four Shaolin warriors and trainers who battle the forces of evil, while also trying to find and protect the Shingon Wu, which are these ancient artifacts that have great magical powers. A typical episode revolves around specific Shingon Wu being revealed, which results in both sides racing to find it. Episodes usually reach ahead when one good and one evil character must challenge each other to a magical duel called a Shaolin Showdown for possession of the artifact. Basically, it's fine to see combined with what Simon says. The original series ran from 2003 to 2006 with a total of three seasons. Shaolin Showdown won a daytime Emmy for outstanding sound editing. Shaolin Showdown had a trading card game, even had a video game for the PS2, PSP, Xbox, and DS. Finally. One hour of Shaolin Showdown means a one hour Jack Spice of butt kick. You kicked his butt last time. You I always kick his... kick his butt. It's my turn to kick his butt. I can hardly remember the last time I got to kick his butt. Catch one phone butt kicking hour of Shaolin Showdown this Saturday, beginning at 9, 8 Central and Pacific on Kids WB. Uh, I thought you were making a sandwich. We have no idea where to look. Shaolin Showdown didn't receive a fourth season. In an interview with supervising producer Eric Radomski, he said that Time Warner had to make some major budget cuts which affected the entire company, which includes Warner Brothers animation. Apparently Warner Brothers episode quota is around 52 episodes for a series, and since Shaolin Showdown fulfilled its quota, they decided to let the series go. A year later, Shaolin Showdown started to air on Cartoon Network during the weekdays right after Teen Titans. In 2013, Shining Chronicles appeared on Disney Channel SD. The show went through a noticeable change. This is mainly due to copyright with Warner Brothers, as Warner Brothers still owns rights to certain things of that show. The Shingon Wu names had to be changed. Like the Orbital Tornami became the Orbital Torpedo, the Monkey Staff became the Monkey Spear, the Tangled Web Cone became the Medusa's Cone. And unlike Showdown, since Chronicles is made in Canada, the law required all the voice actors to have a Canadian citizenship in order to work on the show. This is why some of the characters' voice changed. Yeah, I need a few invites to the Emperor's Palace. No way! Not going to happen. No, not in this lifetime. I agree with Omi. And that monk should definitely be Ping Pong! Christy explained that Chronicles isn't a continuation of Showdown. Think of Chronicles as like some sort of alternate universe. Chronicles flop like hard. The whole 3D Showdown thing just seems weird and unnecessary. But that's just me. I just mainly want to talk about the main series, but maybe I'll make a video on Chronicles in the future. Christy had plans on making a Shaolin Showdown graphic novel called Shaolin Dragons, funded through a Kickstarter. When I found out about this, I was going to donate and even share the link in the description. But the Kickstarter was postponed it because of violence in Paris, but later got cancelled altogether. Christy has a YouTube channel, but she hasn't uploaded in like a year, but maybe if she gets some support, we'll see something Shaolin Showdown related in a couple more years. Chris hasn't really been doing anything related to animation. She's been working in marketing and communications for the Eperon Corporation, which is a company that tries to find a way to cure Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Tara Scrawn, the voice of Omi, is basically in everything. I mean, come on, everybody knows that. Kimiko's original voice actor is Great Lyle is pretty much the same as Tara Scrawn. Great voices characters like Lana, Lola, and Lily Lau from the Lau House. She voices Wonder Woman from DC Superhero Girls, and I really recommend that show, especially if you like superheroes. That show is like a combination of 16 and Justice League Unlimited. You simply lack proper motivation. Have you lost your mind? Ramona is voiced by Tom Kenny, so he's still doing his SpongeBob role. Debonami. 
Clay's voice actor is Jeff Bennett. You probably know him as the voice actor of Johnny Bravo. He's still doing voiceover roles, mostly as like supporting cast, like in The Loud House, Kingdom Hearts 3, and more. Okay, so that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you're new. See you on the next video.